Hey guys, so let's talk about iOS 18.3.1. This software update has been out for nearly two weeks as of the filming of this video, but I still see a lot of you guys searching on my YouTube channel, should I update to iOS 18.3.1? And now in the past two weeks, I've been testing multiple devices, iPhone 16 Pro Max, 15 Pro Max, and I've also put to the test the iPhone XR and iPhone 11, and I wanted to share with you guys some interesting findings in regards to this software update. But before we get to any of that, I do want to emphasize that iOS 18.3.1 actually fixes an important USB security flaw within iPhone. So this USB security restricted mode that Apple is fixing on iOS 18.3.1 prevents anyone from getting access to your device when your device is under USB restricted mode. So you know how you can plug in your iPhone to a computer, but if it's locked, you'll get this USB restriction, this one right here. So this prompt right here request where it's requiring you to actually enter the passcode in order to activate that USB port in order to gain access to the device and connect it to an accessory. Well, the flaw that we're talking about here that Apple is fixing will prevent anyone from actually gaining access and bypassing this as hackers did find a way around this and obviously you want to make sure that you update because if you ever lose your phone or if ever it gets stolen and it ends up in the wrong hands there goes your pictures your videos your financial information all your data so make sure to update to iOS 18.3.1 if you haven't already so first I want to talk about two bugs that I've already experienced with iOS 18.3.1 and I'm sure there's many more out there but based on my experience I've noticed number one that the photos app for the first time has been glitchy on my device on my primary iPhone 16 Pro Max glitching sometimes the audio doesn't want to play for certain videos it is just off something is off about the photos application in iOS 18.3.1 it doesn't happen all the time it is something that's sporadic but I've noticed some lag and issue with playback and things of that nature nothing major but it is something that I've experienced for the first time after using the software for a longer period of time now something else that I continue to have issues with is why Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi connection is not persistent. So for example, if I'm connected to Wi-Fi here in the studio, obviously when I leave and I come back, it should automatically reconnect. Oftentimes I find myself going into the Wi-Fi settings manually in order to reconnect to networks that have already been connected to this device. So it's not consistent. So Wi-Fi issues continue to occur, at least for me on this latest update 18.3.1. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and shift my attention over to the iPhone XR and iPhone 11 here. As I mentioned, I've been testing these devices as well. And I've noticed something strange in this pattern, this same behavior applies to any iPhone from iPhone 12 or lower. So if you have an iPhone XR, iPhone XS, XS Max, the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, even the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, take a look at these numbers right here. So this is iPhone 11 running iOS 18.3. There it is. Take a look at those numbers. Over 4,000 points on the multi-core score and 1,751 on the single core score. Now let's fast forward to iOS 18.3.1. There it is, 18.3.1 less than 4,000 points by a lot. So we dropped quite a bit here in the multi-core score and we dropped slightly on the single core score as you can see right here. So take a look at the numbers right there. So you see there over 4,000 points right there on the multi-core performance with 18.3 and then sudden drop on 13.3.1 as you see right there on the multi-core score and again this is the same pattern i notice on every older device from iphone 12 or older okay so this is something strange that i've noticed in regards to performance and if i go into the iphone 15 pro max here let's take a look at the iphone 15 pro max take a look at those numbers the iphone 15 pro max actually increased in performance as well as the iphone 16 pro max and every other iphone from iphone 13 or later has increased in performance while the older devices had decrease in performance and that's something that I wanted to point out now by the way if you do notice that your iPhone has performance issues you always want to make sure that you go into settings and I did this myself just to make sure everything was good I went into the battery section here and I checked on my battery health and the battery health on this device is pretty solid you see there are 97 so it's pretty good it shouldn't be any slowdowns or anything like that it should be at peak performance and as you just saw there the performance is decreased with the latest 18.3.1 and again the same behavior I've noticed on 
older devices from iPhone 12 or older. So there you guys have it. Use that information as you will. I just wanted to update you guys on a few bugs and issues, the strange performance issues on older devices as I just demonstrated there. Let me know what you think about the software so far. Have you updated? Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.